Is this on? Ah, now it's on. Okay, good. Well, first of all, thank you so very much, all of you, for being here. It's, uh, it, we've got a great group of people here, and it's a really busy time of year uh, and difficult time of year. So, first of all, thank you so, so much for coming and uh, being part of this. I think we have a wonderful group of uh, participants. Um, also, I want to be sure to thank MSRI for uh, producing these uh, critical issues in mathematics education workshops because uh, it, it brings to the mathematics research community uh, attention to the, the incredibly important uh, goal of, of educating everyone in mathematics and including teachers and everyone who, who needs to learn math. So very, very important, and, and we're so glad that uh, MSRI is, is doing this. Um, thank you also to the co-organizers. So David Ockley was one of the co-organizers. Uh, Jim Lewis over there, wave. And uh, Bill McCallum, who's on his way, probably in a taxi right now. He says he's going to be here at 4.30, so, and he's speaking at 4.30, so let's hope. <laughs> we'll see. We, we have a backup plan, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so for this particular workshop, we're here together to think about the mathematical education of teachers. And this is something that I think is uh, uh, close to many of our hearts, that it's a, a very important um, uh, issue that that uh, we need to think about. And let me say a little bit about who we are. So we're here to think about this. The we is mathematicians, mathematics education uh, researchers and, and other mathematics education professionals, and also some K-12 teachers. Tough time for K-12 teachers to be here. Are there, is anybody here, are any of the K-12 teachers here right now? Can you, could you just stand up for a second? Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> or just wave. Thank you so much. This is such a hard time for, for you to come, so we're, we're so grateful you can be here. Um, and something I, I, I hope we can all think about a little bit during this uh, workshop is that this we, those of us who teach math and care about the teaching of math, I think it's really important for all of us to interact and to think together collectively about improving math teaching at every level. Because think about this. What happens when you teach any given grade or any given level of math? That's going to impact the subsequent math that, the, that a student can take. And it, it's, it's a cycle. Every, every level is dependent on every other level. So we're all in this together when it comes to teaching math. We can't separate each other out from each other. Yes, there may be different local functions that people do, but we have to take collective responsibility and I think also collective action, therefore, to improve math teaching. And I think improve math teaching really at every level because we're, we're here thinking about the mathematical education of teachers but teachers take all sorts of math courses at the college level. We have to think about all those math courses, and it, it's, uh, they're, they're all connected. So uh, a number of years ago, about 10 or 15 years ago, I think um, one thing that was very powerful was, was um, we kind of had a new consensus develop that it's worthwhile to, to actually in courses for prospective teachers, it's worthwhile to actually focus on the math that teachers will teach, that that's not an inappropriate thing to do. And I think that was a real shift in people's thinking to, to have that recognition that um, the material that you're going to teach is worthy of college-level study. I think we need a similar, or I would like to propose that we try to develop a similar consensus that we all have to work together, all of us who teach math. That means mathematicians, mathematics educators, and researchers. 
and K-12 teachers. I think we have to see ourselves as this collective whole that is collectively responsible for math teaching in order to really improve it. So I'm hoping that this, this workshop can be kind of a, a, a forum for that collective thinking. And I'd like to propose that we collectively think about it. So <laughs> hopefully uh, some of that can, can occur. Um, so some of the opportunities for that um, that are coming up, I'm, I'm not going to go through the whole uh, conference in detail, but I just want to give a, a little bit of a preview or taste or, or sense of, of some of the things that we'll be uh, doing over the course of the workshop. Um, so we'll, we'll have some um, sessions on lesson study, and that is, uh, that is one of these examples where people of all different backgrounds are interacting and learning from each other and thinking together. So that's one example of this kind of collective thinking. Uh, so there'll be a number of sessions on that, so you can look for those. Um, another thing that, uh, that you'll see, another theme, is we have a number of sessions on findings from mathematics education research and also classroom practice. And I think those, again, will be things where I think we can learn. Uh, you know, I, I'm always amazed. I, I learn math from my students. And I've been thinking about the stuff that I teach for a long, long time but I still learn new stuff. So I think we can all learn, you know, even, even people who've been thinking about math for a long time can learn math from other people. So uh, there's, there's a lot of um, things that I think we can be looking for from different professionals and different, engaged in different components of the teaching uh, cycle. Uh, we also have a number of um, uh, presentations and sessions on uh, the Common Core state standards for mathematics, and also curriculum. You'll see a number of uh, sessions that are related to you learn from curriculum. Um, you know what can we say about curriculum? And again, I think this is an opportunity for collective thinking. Uh, to me, the, one of the great opportunities that comes along with the Common Core state standards is it's a it's a chance to say, okay, we're going to shake ourselves loose and do something different. So. Um, I think that's, that's, that's one of the uh, byproducts of, of Common Core State Standards. Um, and we will also have some thinking about uh, the policy landscape. For example, Joan farini Mundi of NSF will be speaking. So tonight we're going to see several, um, a mix of perspectives to get us started. And there, are, there will also be a little, uh, you know, uh, informal dinner out in the uh, atrium. And so I'd like to suggest when we break for dinner, maybe we can all try to meet people from other uh, venues. Of course, you want to say hello to your, your close friends as well that you haven't seen. But uh, maybe we could start mixing up and, and uh, learning from each other of people of different backgrounds. Um, OK, so let's see. It's 4.30. And I'm not seeing, or it's almost 4.30, and I'm not seeing Bill yet. So, Denise, do you want to get, get us started? Okay, the 